Welcome back, guys, to East 10 Nordics, where last episode, finishing our tour of the Sandress' interior and picking up a quest from Grend, Cargo A Go Go, we picked up three groupings of flotsam within the Obelia Gulf to complete it before finding ourselves in a ship battle against the Undying Fleet with an armored target requiring us to board it and take out its crew. We then followed the wind to reach Fishgale Island, where someone cursed has supposedly made landfall. It should be a good spot to rest. Right, a few mana crystals huh? around. I don't know if I actually had another level or not that I could have gone up, but... Huh? Didn't really check it out. There doesn't seem to be any enemies in the place. Huh? Something over there. Well, nothing will stop me just robbing the island of all its treasures to begin with. Three red drops. And behind this rock. What was that? You the fortune teller, maybe? I don't know. <sighs> A humanoid Grieger. Something feels familiar about this one. Hurrah! Who are you? Probably break you. Shield brethren, together, Lana, to me. <laughs> now we're just nuking the poor guy. Put your shield back up again. Blood is boiling. How's this? Switch. Just managed to dodge that. I kind of did the wrong ability at the wrong time with that one. Close call. How's that? Time to strike back. So who are you, person who we hopefully didn't kill? Also, I can sense someone mixed up in there. Might not look the same, but I bet it's just like Evie. You mean like Doki? It's an easy name to say. Say that one. Right, a Griga that was once a human. Apparently, you have calls them her puppets. Let's just call them Puppet Griga to keep things simple. Anyway, you know what to do next, right? Save someone from their Griga state. Someone who had enough wearable to write that and get out of here. You're that doctor from the Azrad Clinic. Uh, uh, wait, aren't you? Dr. Azrad, you're okay. Oh, Grin. So, how did you end up as a Grieger is probably quite an easy question to answer. Why were you on that boat? That was my fishing boat. You see, after you all went back to the inn that evening, I decided to go out and cast a few nighttime lines. Huh? But didn't my pops tell you to stay on standby at the clinic? Just couldn't resist again, huh? Well, I... 
Yeah. Sorry. <sighs> anyway, I'd just gotten offshore when I came across this strange black ship. There was this silver-haired woman aboard, and I think she did something to me. That must have been your Earth. Right after that, I felt my body changing somehow, so I locked myself away in my ship's hold. From the symptoms, I thought maybe she'd infected me with some kind of plague. I see. And while you were locked up in the hold, the ship ran aground. How long has it been since that night? And what ended up happening with those wolves? Uh, about that. Adol and the others told Joel about the Grieger and how they attacked Karnak, as well as how the townsfolk have been turned into Grieger, their current whereabouts unknown. How, how can that be? Then what about my daughter? Where's Mirabelle? Mira was with the rest of us in the old shipyard. But then I ran off and I don't know what happened to her after that. I'm sorry. We don't know where your doctor friend is either, do we, Adol? Flair, too? This is terrible. If this was how it was going to turn out, I'd rather have... No. Hey, I haven't given up on them. I suppose you're right. I'll need to find some way to make myself useful, too. By the way, I've been wondering about this ship. You said it's part of the Balta Sea Force, but you're the only ones manning it? That's right. Just the five of us. <laughs> and one bird. Our main forces can't leave Balta Island unattended at the moment. The situation's that bad, then? <sighs> Karja, would you be willing to let me help out as part of the crew? Huh? There's still a lot about all this that I don't quite understand. But even so, I can't just leave things the way they are. Not as Karnak's chief physician, or as a father. In exchange, if at all possible, I only ask that you help my daughter, Mirabelle. I'm told you tended to anyone who needed it, townsfolk or Norman, without discriminating. We can't afford to go out of our way, but if we run into her during our mission, We'll save her. That's more than fair. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Carter! It can't be. Where'd they even come from? W what's wrong, Ezer? Several enemy vessels approaching at three o'clock! It's the Undying Fleet! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why are there so many? Adol, we need to move! Hard to port! Whoa, was that the hull? The tyrant! Enemy artillery fire! Incoming! Cars, bones! Enemy fleet closing in! They're fast! I am called Other Kolborn. I request a battle with the two mana users. A new Grieger? <laughs> oh, wow, well, I don't know about this. Last big chunky guy that jumps on a ship, wrecked the ship in two seconds with a big explosion. Man up! We don't have any other options here. All we gotta do is take him down! So you help Saradol and Kaja. No hesitation. Good. I will not mince words as a logger does. Let us not delay. To battle! Bring all your strength to bear. Yeah. Of this! Yeah. 
Oh, I wanted to get clear, but I obviously failed. God, God, I barely take any damage. Like, thing off your break bar. I did. What? Keep going, Em. I'm waiting. It's close. How His defenses are airtight, and his attacks hit like a battering ram. Is that the extent of your might? <laughs> I shall bear this in mind. It broke through? Some kind of pulling ability that was. That's a nasty ability you've got there. It's like two part dodge, and you have to perfect dodge it to be fine with it. Communicate not with words, but through the mana that links you. No mana wielder I have fought across the years has ever possessed such a power. You fought them before? And yet. Damn it! You are Kaja, yes. You've some natural talent. Breathe deep and release the tension from your shoulders. I know not what holds you back, but you lack the composure to fight truly unfettered. What do you... When humans let their emotions lead, their vision narrows, their movements become predictable. Muscular exhaustion and the need to respire are basic limitations of your kind, are they not? Of what effect is a warrior of such physical frailty if they fail to wet their mind as well? I think we'll wait and see how things play out on the basis that this guy just dropped a gigantic gravity bomb on us and was doing 6,000 damage. Why do you hesitate? Adol, eh? Interesting. It seems you've overcome significant hardships despite your age. You've some skill with the sword as well. And yet, there is not more to you. I've faced countless foes far stronger than you, each of which I have shown to their graves. This bastard! He's in another league from Yur than Logger! 
There is no shame in defeat. You humans may yet learn and grow. As such, I will grant you another opportunity to defeat me. <laughs> Three months. Three months to kill me. Should you accomplish that, the Sea Serpent's curse will free you from its grasp. But should you fail this challenge, the Serpent's coils will wind ever tighter around your throat until you perish in agony. <gasps> Why would you do this? Because it is only when faced with death that you humans truly fight. As a Norman, you should understand, knowing their rules of battle, no. Damn you. The two of you have only just awakened to this new power of yours. Should you seek to defeat me, you must take it far beyond its current limits. Hone yourselves together, side by side. And Kaja, I've especially high hopes for you. Hold it! Adol, Kaja, grow strong. And once you do, come claim my life. He said he wants us to grow, but that doesn't mean he'll let us off easy. If we keep going this way, we'll get pulled into the tyrant! Well, we're gonna have to fight back, aren't we? We can't. Worst case scenario, we get hit and the tyrant rips our hull to pieces. I know not what holds you back, but you lack the composure to fight truly unfettered. No way around it. We'll have to leave our fate to the tyrant! What? Uh, are you serious? Here's hoping we make it. I'm counting on you, Adol. Why made me drive? You're better. Well, well. It would seem they've chosen correctly. Other has a bad habit of doing things this way, but at least it'll make for a rousing saga. That blasted Other. He truly vexes me. But even he won't keep me from that wench. Karja, you will meet your end at the hands of Yurth Dorson. So keep that pretty head of yours attached to your neck in the meanwhile. So that Jumbo Freak Uwe put a curse on him. His neck looks fine now, though. He's got a cool tattoo. The actual mark has faded, but there's definitely still something affecting him. Oh, so no one else can see it? We heard Dr. Asarad take a look, and it doesn't seem as though it'll impede his day-to-day -day life or ability to fight. But as you might expect, curses are rather outside the realm of the good doctor's expertise. Guess that means we'll just have to beat that Uma guy down within three months. Damn it, wish there was more I could do to help. Well, I'll just have to get stronger, won't I? <laughs> and stop making bad choices. <laughs> Aye, we'll have to settle things with those three no matter what. Though I'd say bad choices that were always going to end up in the same results. <laughs> if I chose the other option. But right now, our priority is getting out of the tyrant. We've been carried pretty far away by now. Any idea what's up ahead? Ships caught by the tyrant eventually end up at a place they call the Sailor's Grave. Well, that's a lovely sounding destination to be barreling toward. Proper name would be Termina Island. It's located at the center of a massive whirlpool where the tyrant's various currents converge. Oh, so we're going to be properly trapped. They've dragged so many ships there that it's essentially a massive naval cemetery. Uh, one slip up and we'll end up as new as residents then, huh? Oh, hey, I see something coming up on the horizon. Let me have a look. 
Ah, that's a strange looking island. Whoa, what's going on? The flow of the tyrant shifted. The ship is being pulled straight over that way. Which means... Yep, safe to say we're bound for Terminal Island. Well, I mean, there might be some good ship parts here. Well, here we are. Eh, yeah, sure is an awful lot of driftwood. Aye, staggering just how much of it there is. I guess you can think of this place as the tyrant's belly. Plenty of stuff besides just ship parts floating around too. I've had plenty of rumours over the years, but never did I think I'd see the place for myself. So, what now? I think that'd be obvious with the way things are. If we want to survive, the first step is to make sure we're good on food and water. There could be Griga here too, so you and I should scout the area ourselves. Discussion, could I trouble you to pick up some materials to mend the Sandras with as you explore the island? Given how much debris is here, it's likely that some of it is intact enough for our repairs. Ah, good call. Okay, Adol, we'll head out as soon as you're ready. Well, some serious stuff has happened for us to now be chucked down here. The damage to the hole looks worse than I anticipated. Hopefully we'll be able to make good use of some of the debris around here. Um, adult. What's wrong? Never mind, it's nothing. He's surprisingly unfazed despite all this happened. I just wanted to say that I'm not familiar with Terminal Island myself. Please be careful out there. It goes for you too, Miss Karja. Yeah, yeah, don't worry so much, Isa. Very well. Oh, and feel free to let me know if you need anything from the ship. The interior is in disrepair right now, but I can go and use the facilities on your behalf. Is there anything you require? Well, that is indeed what the shop is up for here. We can level up the shell armor at least one time more. May it prove useful. I need a Ziphoid bone. Will that be all? Please take care, you two. Oh, jolly good. We managed to make it out somehow, but even still, to think we would be boarded by one of the enemy generals. Perhaps I was just too naive to the possibility. You and Adol be careful out there, Miss Garja. I like it as well. I'm like, yes, we'll choose to see how this plays out because we know we can't beat the guy. It's like, you are cowardly. <laughs> like, oh, come on. <laughs> so all this wreckage is from ships that were swallowed up and brought in by the currents. The island's a little too big to be our tomb, though, if you ask me. We've got to work together and get out of it fast. The debris around here is all dinged up. I don't think we can make use of any of it. Might be some worthwhile stuff on the far end of the island, though. Happy hunting, you two. No problem, Dogi. Let me just purify this. Mana points for Adol. Just for Adol. You can now split mana seeds. What? I mean, I can make new ones that are better. With not just strength, but damage infliction up. Did it say what I thought? It said split mana seeds. You don't have anything to dismantle. I guess it would just get me other stuff, but, uh... I know I can break that one. Nothing I could put there at the moment. We might find something as we travel, versus having to make one now. Wanna take a break here? Oh, hey, you two headed off. I didn't see where you were, so I couldn't talk to you. Greg, what are you in the dock up to? Haven't much, we were just thinking of scrounging up some food. That'd be a big help. You do realize there could be Griga here, right? I oh, know, that's why Dr. Asrad here is going to teach me how to fish. It's just about the only way to make myself useful at the moment. I figured we could put in a few catches and then salt cure them. Ah, yeah, that'd keep you closer to the ship. Plus, salt dried fish keep for longer. Yep, that's the idea. Lucky for us, there's plenty of fish and tackle on still on board, so we're all set. Makes sense. Hey, Adol, what do you say to helping them out a bit before we scout the island? Teach me how to fish. We haven't got that much bait, though. Try and catch one and start us off. If you run out of bait, I can give you more. Oh, beautiful. Fishing. Select fish from the action menu to ready your bait. Throw some into a body of water and press X when the fish bites to get your angling on. Mash X to fight against your catch. Tilt L or 
press the right buttons as the situation demands. What do you mean by pressing the right buttons? Your angling efforts succeed upon maxing out the gauge. The fish you catch may even spit out items at times. <laughs> ah, you're looking a little uneasy there, Hugh Gill. Don't worry, we ain't gonna bite the big one in a place like this. <laughs> Hugo does not believe. <laughs> Can you see the shadows just beneath the surface of the water? That's where the fish are. If you cast your line just right, you'll increase your chances of landing something. Of course, it'll depend on your level of skill and the type of bait you use, but therein lies the jo true joys of angling. Anyway, you two should give it a try yourselves. I've just got to do whatever I can to help right now. And I do have at least a little experience with fishing. Not nearly as much as Dr. Asrad, obviously. But the fastest way to learn is by watching the master. Maybe I'll throw a few lines. Maybe I shall. First of all... Copy debate. Hold, L2 and R2. Okay, instead of pressing X, there's a support thing that builds up during it as well. I can still mash, okay. I'll help out! Come here, <laughs> you! Okay, let's reel it That's in! It's puny, but I'll take it. There's definitely more stuff going in there. Esadina. We get some plump fish meat. It was a B-rank fish. Hey, not too shabby. Yeah, that was quite a catch. Eh, I guess we better keep up the streak. Dr. Azrad? What is it, lad? Every time you'd run off to fish, Mira would go frantically searching for you. To be honest, I didn't think very highly of you for putting her through that. Ah, oh, I see. I didn't really care for Karnak either with the way the Normans lorded over all of us like they owned the place. And I hated the adults who were too terrified to defy them, including my pops. <sighs> but if it hadn't been for him and Karja, I might have died in Karnak. If you hadn't been here to teach me to fish, I might have even starved. I know I've been an idiot, and it's pretty crappy of me to have taken so long to realize it, but I'm really grateful to both of you. Huh? <laughs> that had to have been the most grin way you could have put that. W what's that supposed to mean? Whenever a problem crops up, you worry your heart out, then spring into action and tackle it full force. Looking at you reminds me that I wasn't so different back when I was your age. Really? People, this world, they're surprisingly fragile. But in spite of everything out there that might break us, there's one thing for certain. The fact that right here, right now, we're still alive. Yeah. At times, you may feel as though you have no control over where your own life is headed. Hard to feel otherwise, what with all the injustice and inequality in this world. <sighs> but that's all the more reason. Why, we have to do the best we can with what we're given, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's why we're here fishing on the shores of a ship graveyard? Precisely. We may not be able to change the flow of the tyrant, but we can at least make sure we eat good tonight. We Normans call that making the choice to live. Makes sense. I guess we're all the same in that way. Anyhow... What do you say we get ourselves some grub already, huh? Good idea. Sounds like your stomach's already chosen to live. All right! Let's see who can catch the most fish, old-timer. I'm gonna bag at least a hundred. Big talk. But I won't go down easy. Fishing bait. Most fishing baits are geared towards a certain type of fish. A icon will appear of the corresponding bait at spots to contain fish you haven't caught before. Okay. Watching new kids gets me a little glum from time to time. I guess it really drives home that I what I once had is now gone. Uh, it's probably just me making excuses. Uh, not really sure I catch a drift. <laughs> Be glad for that. You're better off that way. What's you kill doing up there? So I've been putting stress on Mirabel, have I? Hurts having a set right in my face. I just hope she's okay out there. 
Probably isn't the right time for this, but I'm realizing that I never really knew anything about what my pops was dealing with or how the Normans lived their lives. I guess that's why I... Anyway, don't worry about dinner tonight. The two of us will catch a whole barrel of fish by the time you guys get back. How do I speak to you, Gil? <laughs> Hey, uh, Hugill, you're a teensy bit heavy there, bud. <coughs> What's that? The fish are a little more to the right, L like over here. <coughs> what do you mean, no? Oh, you're saying I'll get my line caught in the debris. Any further and you'll snag on something for sure. Better move it back to the left a smidge. Damn, Hugill, how do you get to be so smart? How oh, I get it. I get it. Stop rushing me. We'll leave Gren to you, Hugill. Hey, shouldn't it be the other way around? Probably should be, yeah. Maybe I'll throw a few lines. So. If an exclamation mark appears over something that we haven't caught before, this highly looks to me like there's no extra fish here. Got a bite. And that the only things that can be got here are the sardines. In fact, we just pulled it in without any worries. Seems about right. A rank. So if that's the case, there's nothing in this fishing hole for me to get. And I'm fine with that. Right then. Well, I guess we are out to check out a whole island. Termin Island. Full of chess at the very much, thanks to the fact we can now see it. It's a chess we're even aiming for as the exclamation mark point along the way. Who knows if there's bosses as well, but... When you look at the sea, and what we've barely explored, if this is the entirety of the map... Which you don't even know if it really is, but 31% sea discovery rate, 4% total discoveries. <laughs> That's not a lot. That is not a lot indeed. And there's going to be way more places to check out in time. And even places to go back to that will have a lot more going on within them. We can't warp out at this point in time to any place. Lecto Island had some more stuff on it. And we still didn't even explore, weirdly, all of this island. There's still two things to find on this island. As well as 66% land discovery rates. So there might be a bit further off somewhere. So this is interesting and bizarre, but stuff for us to figure out next time as we complete our first session of East 10 Nordics. <laughs> a lot different affair, crazy amounts of story, lots of backup, undead Grieger all around the place, unspecified human Grieger that are just way out, over, out overpowering us. I don't know, we're a three month death sentence, curse tattoo. Which actually now has seemingly gone away, visually. Switch! At least currently, outside of cutscene. But that's a thing to deal with on top of everything else. We start from a, uh, a position of no power whatsoever. And now we try to build up. There's fishing over there, in fact. But hey, let's go out there next time and explore this island and hope to get out from the essential trap that we find ourselves in and hope that I haven't missed anything up to this point like quests. I will see you next time for more. And until then, I say, bye bye